Hello everybody, my name is Merc and I decided to play some more Cloudberry Kingdom. Now once again, I will be using the keyboard because I am awesome and today my name is Cowboy Stew. I wonder if they're ever going to allow you to customize that. You know, I don't know if I want it because they have some pretty awesome names there. And if I had to just, you know, have a different name every time, I have no problem with that. Now, as I'm sure you see right there, my Counter-Strike is finished, updating for whatever reason, and I also like using the clear skin for whatever reason as well. This time let's go with Trippy Cape. Can't go wrong with a Trippy Cape. Mm -hmm. And a Voodoo Mask. Because so I'm playing Diablo 3 as a Witch Doctor, so I kind of need that. So let's just go into Arcade, and uh, let's do some Time Crisis this time, because I didn't show it. And this time I'm going to start from level 1. This is going to be just a random video. And uh, I'm just going to say what I feel. Thank you. I need. I didn't know I need to get to the exit. I think this game like resets every time you uh, go into it because every gem you collect will not be in the shop when you go in the shop next time, which doesn't really matter because you have everything unlocked anyway. I think, except for maybe the new capes. I'm not quite sure. I haven't really looked into it. I don't really care. The game's in beta. It doesn't. None of this matters. I shouldn't have uh, done that little there, wasting half a second of crucial time that I'll not have in the future. Because no matter what, that's gone. Even if I picked up other other gems, I would have picked those up anyway. So that one second is gone. So when I when I die here, whenever I die in this at the end of this video, you will know that I would have died one second earlier if I did not waste the time doing that and that. <laughs> I should just shut up. What the hell is this? Do I just have to jump it? I just have to, oh what a troll game. It's like oh maybe we're gonna put this down here and you're gonna think you have to jump on it in order to get up when you don't have to game. It's almost as bad as Binding of Isaac, which I will probably do real soon, because I love that game. But, back onto Cloudberry Kingdom. Again, I have to comment, the music is really awesome in this game, even though this is the song that I was mentioning before when he just said war. But, again, it's just a small little minor co uh, complaint, considering we're in See? That one, that guy, he was only one jumping up. Why did he only jump up once there, and every other time they make him jump like 30 guys at a time, blocking the whole entire bottom screen. That's not cool. I don't like that. But everything else I fucking love, so... This is an, a very good game, in my opinion. And there's not much wrong with it. And it's only in beta. It does what it says it does. And it's too bad that they, uh are kind of struggling Kickstarter. I think they're going to make it because they have four days left as I record this. And in the last three days, every every little Kickstarter gets a surge of people trying to help out. And they just need 5,000 more. Well, under 5,000 now. Oh, that was close. Alright, still hovering around 15 seconds, but I am only on level 22. This is what I mean. This is why I went to level 50 earlier, because these levels are all pretty basic. But you can, you can die. It's not like you can't die, it's just I've got enough experience with platformers that I'm not just gonna die here. He says as he's about to die. Nope. I was almost gonna go back for that gem but it doesn't even matter. If you don't get it when you're running then you don't need to go back and get it. There's no point. Oh damn it. Overshot that. Oh undershot that. There we go. Oh shit, I almost thought I died right there too. But thankfully I have awesome reflexes by pressing the W key at appropriate times. <sighs> That's pretty much what it is. Hold right, press W every occasionally. Except for there, I didn't have to hold right. Alright. Now things are kind of picking up. I don't like those uh, walls of saws, they're not cool. Hero Rush Mode 2 Unlocked. That's pretty funny, because I could have sworn I unlocked it. It's lying to me again, this game. No, obviously you're going to have to unlock Hero Rush Mode 2 by being awesome for a certain amount of time, I guess. And that won't be a problem, obviously, because you just need to do pretty, pretty decent, not even a level 50, and that's when things start to pick up. All this is pretty common. And they also said they're going to potentially be adding even more different mechanic types 
as the, you know, with the additional money that they might get from Kickstarter, depending on how much art and whatnot needs to be changed. They're going to probably have a couple thousand more, which is pretty cool. Should be able to add another couple ideas. I don't know what, what other ideas work. I'd have to go into other platforming games and think about that, but I don't know. They like to have, they have their own thing going here, and I like it. But you can always uh, have a little bit more variety. It never hurts. Music, again, now I'm making it feel like now everyone's just listening to my voice instead of this music. It's, uh, yeah. Okay, it started the same one. I was going to mention that they have a, not the, the, like a large variety of music selections. There, I have noticed that there's more when I go into free play and uh, other, other modes, it seems, anyway. But it seems like they only have like one or two or three songs per mode. So you might hear that where it just go quiet and then it'll pick up the same song again. Which, you know, it doesn't really matter because when you when it comes down to it, a lot of other games had, uh, like, like Super Meat Boy didn't have very... I can't say Mario because everyone knows Mario had, like, an awesome soundtrack when it could, in those days. But, like, Super Meat Boy only had, like, a couple songs per, per world, I think. That's how it worked. So, it's not an issue because they have, like, a, a fair amount as well. And the other songs are awesome, too. I have literally no complaints with the other songs. Very good into this sort of thing. Ooh, I just realized I have four seconds. Time was slowly ticking down. Maybe I should, like, see, that's odd. Maybe you should start at level 50, because now I'm at level 56, but I have five seconds. That's not cool. Doing pretty good. I've only died, like, what, twice? Maybe. So, doesn't seem like a very hard... Oh. He says Izzy dies. I always do that. Oh god. Yeah, no, this is it. Oh well, let's go into uh, Hero Rush. And do one more. Let's start off level 50. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm, it's only Hero Rush, so it's only one of those characteristics of the last video I showed you. So you start off as normal. Oops, I, for I keep always forgetting that space is not jump. It just feels like it should be. So I have jetpack now. Ooh, so now I have double jump. And now I'm with Tiny. So they each have their own physics to it, I guess. Oh. And this guy, the boy is the freaking worst. Oh, the jet, which you didn't see in the last video. Which is uh, basically <laughs> like a side scroller, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. This one's a bit challenging as well, making you jump all the time. You can just choose to jump higher. Oh, this one's uh, really bad as well. I mentioned in the last video that you'll have lower gravity, but I meant you'll have increased gravity. I don't know why I think I thought about that, but I did. And again, out of time. I'm not good at those time attack ones. Oh well. I hope you guys uh, had a little fun watching more of that. I'll see you guys next time.